Thorin, C0 or C1? Is C1 worth it? Right, so Clorind, her kit, the weapon. So I'm, I'm using Haranga Bakafutsu. This is my stats, not the greatest of all time. It's okay, we move on. All right, gladiators. While Hunter's Vigil, which is just your elemental skill, it's active. You hit any type of electro damage from Clorind's normal attacks. You will trigger two, not one, but two coordinated attacks from Night Vigil Shade, which is like a shadowy figure of Clorind herself, dealing 30% of Clorind's attack. What does that mean? So once you do your elemental skill, you pop it, you hit this, you two shadowy figures are going to pop up, which she does at C0. So let's go Masanori. We're going to be using Bennett, we're going to be using Nahida. Um yeah. uh, it shouldn't Ooh, I accidentally hit him with it. I'm not gonna be using Fisher. Boom. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna use fish just to get the energy back. How's that? And do this. Just a burst. That's pretty good. Now we are going to be trying out Constellation 1. So, boom, we activate it. There it is. E1. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Let's try to avoid hitting him with the, the pyro. Okay, we did successfully. And then... Wait. Did I see it? I don't know if I did. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did it, did it even work? Oh! Wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Dude, that was insane. Okay, wait. So, there we go. There you go again. Oh my. Oh my. I did not know that. Wait, I actually genuinely did not know that. Okay, cool. Wait, wait that's actually really cool. Okay. Let's, let's gather some energy here. Okay. Gather, we gather, we gather. Okay, do that. Boom. Okay, that hurt. Uh, like, I'm sorry about that, but like, come on. <laughs> Wait, her C1 is actually pretty nasty. I did not know it was actually pretty decent. Wait, that was pretty decent. Okay, okay, let's try this one more time. But this time, I need I need to do more reactions so I can get the full amount from uh, Chlorine. So if we go here... Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we need, we need to do some reactions. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna pop the official thing just so it's a reaction, right? Ooh, okay. Boom, we do that. And then we pop the C1 stuff. Okay. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty... Okay, let's relax. That's... Okay, let's relax here, buddy. Let's relax here, buddy. Okay, he's going to go into his state here now. That's good, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use this. And now we pop. There we go. Ooh. Wait, that went crazy. Okay. I think I understand it a little bit more. So, when they mean that they're, you know, Thorin's attack, 30%, whatever. But because it's 30% and it's two coordinated attacks, it, it doubles up. And because of the double up, you're getting 60%, which is still really good. It's still really, really good. So, if we just use, you know, one of the skill, you guys can see that. Okay. Boom. The, the damage just pops. And it's <laughs> it does two instances of damage. That's what I saw. It does two instances of damage. So 30-30. And then another one comes in 30-30. Okay. So just look at this. Pop. Two instances of damage. Two instances of damage. Two instances of damage. It, so it's not just the bullet. But it's also the, the C1 activated. Right? And after you, you know, you do your bond of life thing and then you dash, it goes even crazier. It goes even crazier. <laughs> That's why you see all these like damage numbers. 
and then you're like, where is that all coming from? That's where it's coming from. And obviously when you, you know, try to apply your teammates, you know, um, and, and you actually you know, go crazy, you have Fischl, you have Nido, you have... I mean, I wouldn't typically use Bennett in this type of team. Um, probably have, uh, I don't know, Shing Cho, or something like that. Or even Shirina. And yeah, it's just... It goes crazy. It goes crazy. And not to mention that my... Radiant crit damage is not optimized, not even close. Like, I'm missing a lot of crit damage, I'm missing some attack percentage. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely not a good build right now. It's definitely not a good build. But, because she's just going absolutely insane with the damage, the damage, the damage, the damage, and then the C1 triggers, it goes crazy. It actually goes crazy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, C1. It's a, that's a good place to end it. That is a good place. All in all, I think Lorenz C1 is an okay constellation. It's not game breaking. It's not like changing Lorenz kit entirely, but it it's a little bit of a buff. Nothing crazy. Absolutely nothing crazy. But I will say it is super cool. I really like you know how the shadowy figures like sort of pop out of nowhere, and it's a cool animation. And yeah, it definitely makes her even, even cooler character. But I don't think it's that great of a constellation where I would recommend you guys to get it. I don't think it's that great of a constellation. If you guys are thinking about going for constellations, obviously C2 would be an insane constellation to go for. Not only does this include, you know, Clorin's attack for three stacks, not, not only that, but three, for three stacks, but you also get interruption uh, resistance, which is really nice. So yeah, you get an insane amount of buffs just from this. And also C6, uh, yeah. yeah, game changing, right? But e C2, C6, that, that's where I would recommend anyone to go for if you want to go for constellations. C1 is not an insane enough constellation for me to recommend it to you guys. Be like, yeah, it's game breaking, it's insane. Um, yeah, 100% worth it. In fact, I think getting her weapon might even be more worth it than getting her C1. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys got something out of it, if you did, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.